deduction. <laughs> but the real question, I think, is why was the Liberal Party's war chest so flat in the first place that its bra needed padding by Malcolm's cash? <laughs> well, come over to the other camera. <laughs> You remember the New South Wales Electoral Commission? <laughs> well, they froze 4.4 million of the Liberal Party's funds in New South Wales because they've been receiving donations from property developers, which is totally illegal because they might want something in return. Now, who do you think is to blame for all this? Well... <laughs> According to Arthur Sinodinos, who was treasurer of the New South Wales Liberal Party at the time, not Arthur Sinodinos. He made it very clear at two Senate inquiries and ICAC that as treasurer, he didn't know anything about who the donations came from or how they came to be laundered through the Free Enterprise Foundation slush fund. It had nothing to do with him as treasurer of the New South Wales Liberal Party, where the money ended up. <laughs> and on the adequacy of the disclosure system for political donations, Arthur has been very clear. We do need a system which does not put um, the political system, the disclosure system, that does not put the political system in a difficult position. Yes. And, and, and I don't think any of us want to see Arthur in a difficult position. Anyway, with no money of their own for the campaign, the Libs needed Malcolm to help them out. Now, unlike the property developers, though, Malcolm wanted nothing in return except to remain as Prime Minister for the next three years. And it's a testament to the Liberal Party's integrity that they probably won't let him. <laughs> so Malcolm's donation is just like yours or mine, except that in our case, our donation to the Liberal Party came out of our tax dollars and went through a data mining company called Parakelia. And that's what I'd really like to talk about tonight. OK, now, you all remember Parakelia, don't you? Yes! <laughs> That's right. Most Liberal MPs pay $2,500 a year out of their taxpayer-funded office allowance to vote a tracking software firm Parakelia, a company which also shares an office and two directors with the Liberal Party. Which I suppose is convenient because it means that the money didn't actually have to travel that far. Actually, a lot of it doesn't travel any distance at all because Parakelia appears to have donated about a million dollars to the Liberal Party over the past two years. Now, if taxpayers' money is ending up... <coughs> 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 in Liberal Party coffers, is that an issue? Or does it just balance out the support Labor gets from taxpayer-funded things like the ABC? Well, no. Rest assured that it's all above board. Our tax dollars are being used by the Liberal Party to fund access to finding out how we vote for the Liberal Party, with any profits derived going to fund Liberal Party ads, which use that information to get us to vote for the Liberal Party. <laughs> Of course, the big problem for Mr Turnbull isn't what he spent on the election, it's what to do about...